Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is our lesson 4 on test project automation tool. As you all know, I have already published 3 lessons on test project automation tool. The first lesson is about the introduction of the test project automation tool and the second one is how can we download and install test project automation tool and the third one I have covered a simple automation of a web UI interface okay so please I would suggest you guys to visit those videos before watching this session to understand the session very well okay please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these kind of concepts thank you okay the agenda of this session is I'm going to explain you what is a data driven testing in terms of test project and then how can we create a test and once you create a test that means once you automate a web UI test case by using test project how can we parameterize the values and how to prepare a data source so that you can use the test data from the data source to perform data driven automation and also how can we add a data source to the test project so that you can execute your test cases iteration wise by using different data sets and then how can I am going to show you how to run the tests with the prepared data source sheet and then I am going to show you all the reports and how can you analyze the reports after performing the data driven testing okay so let's jump onto the system and let me show you all these steps by using test project and then we will see how to perform all these actions in test project tool so this is my test project where I have logged into my account okay so I, I, as I told you please do visit my first video to set up our test project uh, tool automation tool okay so you can find the links in the description and this is our first test that we have automated okay so you can visit the lesson 3 okay that you can find the link in the description okay you need to visit the lesson 3 to understand the basic steps to automate a web UI test case okay so this is the same test case that I am open, opening here okay so now first let's we have created a test and then if you see here uh, when I am entering a username right I entered as admin and then I'm entering the password I entered as admin 123 okay so that means we have hard coded the values that you want to type here right so here so instead of hard coding the values I would like to add a variable to these two parameters okay so how can we do that by using parameters basically parameterization so if you see here this is steps and this is your parameters when you click on parameters so you will have an option to add test parameters or project level parameters that means parameters can be defined at test level and then at project level so for this session I am gonna define a test parameters okay so if you see here so let me uh, delete these uh, <clears throat> parameters okay which is which was not present in uh, during lesson 3 so currently we have only one parameter called the URL okay so let it be there okay so here you want to create a test parameters click on parameters tab and then click on test parameters and then if you see here create a new parameter just click on this add button and name the new parameter as username okay and then provide the value my username is admin and then just save this and then add another parameter called a password and here enter the value 
admin123 but uh, this is a password so you can make it as a secret okay as soon as you make it as secret it's going to convert into asterisk okay security of your test data is very important okay and then save this if you go back to steps now you can see the steps are showing click here okay so let me just open this again okay so where is, where is my okay so we have entered the parameters but we have not yet used the parameters to your test steps correct so now you need to go to your corresponding step so if you see here type admin click on this and expand this test and here you need to remove the hard coded value and then you need to use a parameter if you see here as soon as you click on edit button there is an option called use parameter click on this use parameter and select the username parameter so you can see all these three parameters username parameter i want to select so just select this and then save steps okay so if you see here it shows a parenthesis username that means i'm using a parameter called username and the same thing we need to do for the password just select the step and then go back to your keys and remove the keys here and then use a parameter click on use parameter and select your password if you see the password is locked okay and then save step so as soon as you save you, you can see now here type parenthesis parameter password parameter okay so now so we have parameterized the test and let's save and exit and then let's run this and see whether it works or not okay click on run so as soon as you click on run select the chrome browser next and then run so now it should take a username and password from the parameters test level parameters okay and the run should be successful so it started you can see here it is running right and then also it shows the progress here it's running yeah it opened the browser and then it's going to enter the username see admin and it's entering admin 123 and click on login and close the browser so that means the test is successful right and you can see the report from here but anyway so now we have parameterized the test so if you see we completed parameterization of the values now prepare data source okay so let's go back to our test again okay and if you see we have completed so okay so let's save and exit so if you see if i hover these three dots if i click on these three dots one of the option where i can see that csv parameters template okay so you can download the csv parameter template for this test okay so let me download the sheet okay so let me save the sheet here okay i'm just overriding the previous sheet okay okay i have saved the sheet so if you open this sheet which is downloaded okay i can see here the column names application url password username so we don't need the url i'm going to delete this column and i'm going to interchange this column i'm going to keep it sequential okay you can edit the uh, sheet okay so we need not to worry we can edit the sheet okay so this is my sheet <coughs> now enter the test data okay let me enter the first username i would like to enter as admin and then this is admin 123 which is valid user credentials and now i want to perform an invalid user credentials okay admin 34 admin 7 eight nine okay so this this means this test data set set right first test data set is a valid username credentials and second one is invalid username credentials okay and then just save this okay once you save it close this so now we have prepared a test data sheet now we need to use this test data sheet okay for that you need to go to data sources 
okay so let me delete this one okay so in the data sources you have an option to add a data file so as soon as you come to data sources you will have an option to add a data file click on this name this data source as let's say hrm <coughs> login test data hrm login test data i'm naming this as this and here you can drag and drop file or click here and select the <coughs> data sheet that we have downloaded and then click on open so now the data sheet is uploaded and then click on create so now you have uploaded your data source right and then again go back to tests and jobs and go to your hrm smoke test folder i have told you how to create all these folders in my previous sessions okay so now here let's i i need to i have parameterized the values but i need to use a data source instead of parameters correct for that when you click on run here and select the browser click next here if you see you can use the data source correct so use the data source and select the data source if you expand this the data source whatever we uploaded to this project will be visible select the data source and then click on run so as soon as you click on click on run it's going to run the test by using two data sets so let's see what happens okay click on run okay admin admin 123 and then it should close the browser but it's not doing that i think it, the test is ge uh, getting failed so let's see let's debug why it is getting failed okay so it's closed the browser and it's generating the report okay i think it, the test is failed okay let's see what happened so basically uh, the test does not close the browser and then it is trying to execute the second iteration and so let's refresh this so if you go to here it's failed okay if you go to reports and my test here if you see the first test data set successful and if you see the second test data set it's a unable to find the username password because it did not close the browser so basically for every each data set we need to close the browser for the first iteration you executed and then close the browser and go for the second iteration that's not happening here okay so let's do one thing what i'll do i'm going to execute this same data test data set i'm going to set that to my job so we have created earlier we just created a login test and we executed the same test by using job right so let's do one thing now so let me just set up here okay so when i click on edit here right when i click on options because we already mapped this test to the job that we have created earlier now it automatically takes the changes whatever we made changes okay so now let's go to the options what i did is i just i dragged and dropped the test here simple that's what we did okay let me do one more time okay just delete the test here so i have explained you how to create a job we already created a job in my previous session and drag this test and drop here okay and now click on edit and here if you see i can 
set up a data source for my test that is mapped to job okay set up this and then update it okay i'm going to update that and now you can see the data source is enabled and here for job okay one thing we have to do click on edit for the job and then go to next and here i would like to execute only in one browser okay so parallel testing multi browser testing that i'm going to show you later okay click on next and here you need to select this option restart the browser before each test that means once the test executed by using first data set you have to restart close and restart the browser so that should happen otherwise it's going to fail the test case okay check this and save this now let's execute this test by using job okay run the job so now it should open a browser and it should start okay if you see the job is running here the job is running here right it should open the browser enter the first test data set of your credentials which is valid credentials okay admin and then admin 123 login it should close the browser immediately yes success now it opens the second one again and admin 34 and admin some invalid password so if you see invalid credentials came so now it says your test is failed the last step failed for the second data set okay now let me show you how can we analyze the results for this <coughs> sorry guys my throat is not uh, well today bear with me okay so because the, it's failed step right so it's going to take the screenshot and then it's going to print the results so that's why it's taking time so how to analyze the results as i explained you earlier if you go to job here you can see the reports or you can go to reports directly so let's go to the reports here okay what is my last run it's going to directly land on to the last run if you see here okay this is my last run if you see here the test data sets okay whenever this is my test case and if you see here there are two tabs 1 2 1 2 right these two are test data sets okay if you, if i click on one it shows me username type username if i expand this right i have typed the username here as admin go to second test and then expand the third step if you see here it entered admin 3 4 correct go to first set again and now let's the the password okay what password we entered here okay if i expand the password here i can see that the password that i entered is oh it's actually secured so it's not showing so basically basically you you will have a two different tabs if you see here the second one is failed because i have entered the wrong password correct so if you see expand this i have entered wrong password and then i clicked on submit here while validating the page it's failed because i have entered the wrong password and hence it did not land on to the home page so if you see here it took the screenshot also it is taking a screenshot where it is failed click on here if you see here this is the screenshot that we captured <clears throat> and then you can see the message here i don't so basically it it's unable to fail using following locator it's unable to see the welcome message see it, element was not found welcome message element was not found right so this is the x path that we have taken so this is how you can analyze the test results okay and then hope uh, let me go back to my test again okay yeah so this is our test so hope you all understand 
how to parameterize your test and then once you parameterize the test right once you parameterize this test how to add a data source to your test correct hope you all understand the concept if you have any queries leave your comments in the comment box so that i can reply to your queries okay so in the upcoming sessions i'm going to cover a lot of concepts okay i'm going to cover uh, mobile automation and then also i'm going to expand how can you add the test steps manually and then how can you perform the parallel testing how can you perform the series testing basically cross browser uh, we can run we are going to run this test in chrome edge and ie in series um, right and also we are going to perform chrome edge and ie parallel testing right so all these kinds of concepts i'm going to tell you and also i'm going to uh, tell you how can you perform continuous integration by using test project that means how can you integrate your automation scripts to jenkins pipeline and how can you integrate these automated scripts to azure pipelines right i'm going to explain all these concepts step by step slowly in each and every video i'm going to publish all these videos okay please do visit the visit my channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish all these videos okay thank you